What if I told you you had a superpower inside you? Would you believe me? Now, what if I told you that superpower was your poo? Welcome, Chairperson, Honorable Judges, ladies and gentlemen, leaders, and fellow 4 H members. My name is Maria DeMarco. I'm from the Williams Lake District in the Caribou. Before I came down here, I didn't really understand what agriculture was. Granted, I've looked up that word about a thousand times, but it never really sticks. So before I launch into my speech, I'd like to give you the definition of agriculture. Agriculture involves farming of plants and animals. That's something I didn't understand. As a kid, I thought I wasn't really exposed to agriculture because I come from ranching communities. We have cattle and cattle and cattle and cattle. But down here, there are farms for food, like herbs and fruit and vegetables. And that was kind of new to me. I was educated yesterday on the importance of ecological friendly practices in farming. I went to a dairy farm where they taught me that I could convert my poo into energy. Okay, maybe not mine, but the cow's poo. It produces 30% of the energy in their farm. How cool is that? So, instead of using the extra energy that would damage the environment, they're recycling the products that their cattle already are producing. In addition, they grow their crops in a room where they use a third of the water supply that they would if it was on a field, and it takes a fraction of the amount of time to grow. I also went to a bee farm where they taught me that 30% of the pollination done worldwide is done by bees. Imagine if those bees weren't here. Bees are endangered by neonicotinoids, which are pesticides that are residual in the environment, which means that when they are put on the ground and into the ecosystems, they stay there and they become more harmful over time. These bees are really affected by these pesticides. And if we had to go without bees, we would have to hand pollinate, which is insanely less efficient than using bees. So I needed to know what I wanted to do about this. Now that I know all this information, that holds me responsible, doesn't it? That is why I'm up here today. I'm going to try and educate you. And I am not the expert. Of course I'm not the expert. But there are experts at the Eco Dairy Farms, at Campbell's Gold Meadery, at Lorica Farms, where they use pigs to till their soil so that they don't have to use machinery that causes um, environmental damage through their release of carbon dioxide. And I feel that education in agriculture is really important because we don't really know. We're told all the time to change our practices, to become more eco-friendly. But we don't really know how to do that. So the first step is to learn, is to listen to those farmers who are trying to teach us what to do, to listen to those other people who have done their research, who know what you are supposed to do to help change the environment. And it might seem small, but something we can do, for example, use less pesticides. Maybe don't use pesticides at all. Buy local organic food. Just try something, because now that we know, we're held responsible. But before we know, it's up to the people who do know to educate us. So that superpower of yours, use it.